Hello everyone and welcome back to Kenshi. So today we're getting right into it, building another house, because we just finished researching level 2. I kind of let that run uh, earlier before I started recording, so that way we can get some research done. And I also decided to do that after we went ahead and built level 2. I just decided to let it run, so that way we don't have to uh, wait on anything to research and we can just get right into the building. So walls are still holding, they're still good, and... Um, we're going to build up this house right here, and it's going to be our new research and development house. Where we're going to put our research bench level 2, now that we can build one. Cutting ahead now to when the building is done, I'm putting down the research bench level 2. And this opens up all the research level 2 uh, to be researched now. Which means we also have two research benches, which are nice, so that way I can have two people running a research bench at the same time. And while one is less efficient than the other, I believe the effects do stack, so that way we can speed up our research just a little bit more in that way. Though, I believe level 2 things cost quite a bit more in terms of research. That's why you get the level 2 bench, which works more efficiently. Yeah, you know, there has to be some incentive. Uh, so that's good. Uh, we're getting that built. It's fairly cheap, and we've stockpiled an immense amount of uh, building materials, so it's not that big of an issue. Heck, I could populate this entire place in houses right now and still have enough building materials. Um, so, also, I noticed playing around with the menu here that you can change your squad size maximum to whatever you want. And while they advise you not to go above the standard value they have set, because that'll slow down your game, we might be doing that uh, depending on how big this settlement ends up growing or how, how long we end up playing this which might be for a while. Uh, there's quite a bit to do now, uh, a lot of things to do, and I'd like to get a nice flourishing little settlement going here, which might require a lot of people. So we'll just see where that goes, but uh, I thought that was an interesting option. Uh, you can also increase the amount of NPCs in the world. Again, they advise you not to go above the set value. Uh, you can go below to increase performance, and you can go above, which will lower your performance, obviously. So. I do notice still there are some lag spikes in the game, and it'll drop from 50 frames down to like 10, and then it'll randomly just shoot back up to 50 and 60 frames again, and I'm not quite sure why it does that. Uh, it only happens when there's a lot of NPCs on the map, so I think that might have something to do with it, and that explains why they don't want you going above their set value, because if we did have more NPCs on the map than what already are there, we might run into some issues. So, again, we'll see if my computer can handle that. Uh, or if even the game, I guess, engine can handle that. I'm not sure what the issue is. But um, I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead to where we finish all of this research uh, and the building of level 2. What I did was I sat down when I finished this research bench level 2 and decided I'm just going to research pretty much everything in level 2. So that way I could just sit down and build and explore level 2 on footage. So we'll kind of head to what happens then. Alrighty, here we are. So time to start building. So we researched the saloon, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to put that right next to the gate, and that's going to be our store. That's where we're going to sell stuff. Uh, so that way when you walk into our town, right on your left you have your saloon. Nice way to lead into the town. And then right to the left of that, we're going to put another saloon because that is the, currently the biggest building I have and I need a lot of room for my manufacturing. And so that's going to kind of be connected to the manufacturing district there. And I'm also going to put a shack in between the two. I tried putting a house, but the house just does not fit. So, yeah, see right there? The house is not fitting. So I end up putting a shack right there in the industrial district. Just to kind of add more buildings. I mean, I don't know. It looks nice. Look. <laughs> It looks nice. That's that's what I'm going for here. Um, I'll probably put storage in there, things like that, so that way we don't have to worry too much about storage ever. Hopefully, there are a lot more storage bins in this though uh, for specialized things such as like plate and uh, things like that. So I guess you can make plate armor. That's what that tells me. And you need the iron plates maybe, or maybe just steel bars. I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't know. But there's that shack going down. I go ahead and uh, also decided to put down some crafting benches. I did research all of the other crafting things, so let's get the weapons bench down first, which is an outside crafting bench. It's the only crafting bench, I believe, that goes outside. 
that I've discovered. There might be some more. The rest I'll go inside the building, and I'll put those inside the saloon. That's where I'll put the leather and the cloth stuff, which is nice. We can make leather armor. Also, to be noted, you cannot craft any real weapons. I mean, you can make clubs, but that's all you can make without the proper blueprints. So you're going to want to run over to the nearest town when you build these things, and I hope you have a lot of money to burn because it's it's not cheap to buy those blueprints. But uh, bring those back, and same for armor, I believe. Uh, certain types of armor you can only make if you buy the blueprints. So. Something to keep in mind, we will need to go and buy blueprints at some point, and we'll probably make the transition over to a more trade-based group rather than just uh, building materials, which is what we're at right now. And uh, we have now like 300 building materials just stockpiled, so we're going to have plenty to build all of this stuff. So, yeah, lots and lots of storage. Also, prisoner cages, kind of fun. Uh... I also liked the description when we were researching those. Uh, it does lead you down a dark path. I'm not going to put any prisoner cages down yet. I hope we don't have to deal with that yet, but we'll probably put that on the right, right side of our compound, or our governmental, or maybe in the center. Just kind of you walk in, and then in the center you'll have our prisoners lined up, and then a well. I don't know. We'll see how I want to design that. But the prisoner cages could be an interesting little flourish there. So, there's all, and then you can just see our building supplies get drained by everybody going, picking up building supplies, and getting started building. I've set everybody to their first job as an engineer, so that way they immediately go and start building uh, when there's something to be built, which is nice. Uh, of course, I don't want the research guys doing that, because they still do need to research. So, I'm going to have to pull Jin off of that, so that way he can go uh, research. So we'll cut ahead here to where things start getting actually built. I don't know why, but NPCs still do this. They go to the door or the gate when I have it locked and closed, and they open it, and I don't know why. I think they have a death wish or something. But uh, I, you can just manually close it instantly. You don't need to have anybody go and close it, so it's not a big deal. That just must be a little pathing thing. It only, it only happens every so often, though, so nothing too major. Of course, I can also level up my uh, stone mine and my stone processor, which is something I'll need to be doing here shortly, is leveling those up. So that way, they require less people to work on them, and I get more efficiency. So yeah, we'll cut ahead here to where uh, at least some of the construction is finished, and we can start seeing the benefits of this, or if something happens, we'll see. So here's something interesting I ran into. A uh, little notification saying that my city has been detected by dust bandits, or they noticed it. So I went ahead and closed the gate and locked it. Uh, condition is only at six, so we'll uh, we'll see how this goes. I don't really see them anywhere, so they'll show up eventually, I'm sure. This probably means there's gonna be a raid or something like that, where there's gonna be like 50 of these guys just coming at me, which won't be too much fun, especially since everybody's carrying a ton of building materials, and they're going to be slow, 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 and <laughs> nobody really has any uh, fighting skill in our group. So, this does not bode well. We'll probably have to run back to town as soon as these guys show up. But for now, hopefully, we should be able to uh, keep building. Alright, so not five minutes later, these guys uh, decided to show up at my house. Knock on my front door. How very rude of them. And they're demanding money and things like that. So I'm just going to keep my guys building and hope the walls work. It seems to be running the same way the uh, initial one did at the very beginning of our playthrough here. So this, this is interesting. Don't want your friends to die, do you? No, of course not, and I don't think they will. We have walls. Good luck getting through them, sir. Unless you beat the walls down. Oh, he's got a pretty cool bandana. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna take that bandana. I want that bandana. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. Looks so. I don't know what he looks like, he just looks cool. I want it. We're gonna take it. Yeah, he's got quite the army here, though. Not liking this. Not one bit. Oh! There they come. Alright. Looks like they're heading straight for the gate. This is where I noticed the frame drop. You can pretty clearly see it. The guys are running now. Normally they do kind of glitch around like that, even if I am running at full frames. But uh, it's a little more noticeable right now. And that's a little weird. I'm not sure why it does that. But, uh, it might be just something with the game, the optimization. Oh, there I go, zooming in all the way on accident. But here they come to our gate, glitching in. 
We'll zoom out so it doesn't look so bad. And all right, they're doing damage to the gate. You can see the little indicators popping up. That means they're hitting the gate, which isn't good. So I gotta summon everybody up here, speed this up, and we're gonna make a run for it. As soon as they run in, we'll run out. <laughs> oh, they're in. That didn't take long. All right, out, 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 out. Everybody run away, run away. Oh God, everybody's so slow. Run. We gotta make it to Fort Simeon. If we don't get there, we are screwed. So the red guys are the guys currently targeted by the enemy, I believe, so they're being engaged in combat, and we're just running away, so yeah, they can deal with it. Uh, <laughs> thank God there are not ranged weapons yet, uh, or else we would be in deep trouble. They would be picking us off like flies at this point, so we are going to run all the way back to town, and we are going to be safe there, hopefully. Mostly. <laughs> I mean, last time we only lost, what, like uh, two or three people? Four? I mean, they didn't die, though, so that's that's a plus. They got their toughness up. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? So we just gotta, we just gotta get there. So, there it is. All right. We're good. Look, there's a group of guards just waiting for us in the middle of town. Excellent. All right. This guy's rounding up the rear here, but that's okay. Everybody else should make it in town just fine. Yeah. Same strategy as last time. Kind of kite them into town since we're too weak to fight them yet, currently. Uh, so kite them into town. We don't even have enough for, uh, armor, really, to carry them on. Take them on, I should say. So we'll just hang out in here until this all blows over, hopefully. So cutting ahead a little further here, uh, it looks like uh, it, it did blow over. I mean, we only lost four guys. I mean, that's that's not bad. They're not dead. They're being healed. Also, I did manage to capture the bandit leader and sell him for 5,000 katans. Now, I did not loot his body, but here is the nice part about this. The police now have cages. What does that mean? Well, they're going to toss the guy in the cage. He doesn't just get thrown on the floor anymore. <laughs> so he can no longer escape, so he's locking him up now. And I can hold right-click on him and loot him. So I can take all this stuff. Yeah. Uh, we'll have somebody else come and pick up this armor, but uh, there we go. We got all this guy's loot. I don't really care about building materials. Again, you saw we had like 300. Not that big a deal. But uh, yeah, you can loot people when they're in police cages. So even after you sell them, if you make the same mistake I did and you did not take all the loot off them to begin with, you can always go back and take the loot off, which is always nice. And you can also talk to them while you're in there. Not that you'd want to really I looted all the other bodies um, they all had heart protectors and things like that so I went ahead and sold all those I kept the helmets and the boots because I don't think everybody has helmets or boots yet so that'll be nice uh, to get armor on those guys but everybody else just had heart protectors so nothing too major in terms of what we found we did make a fair uh, penny of it though so we should be able to level up to level three here in terms of research without any trouble Though we might be running low in terms of trying to get blueprints, so we'll need to do something else if we want blueprints, in addition to what we've uh, done here by getting all the loots. But it shouldn't be that big a deal. So, put this in on that guy, grab that sword, and we'll switch it out. And we'll give him the crap sword. And we're good. So now we need to head back to town and finish our building. Well, at least try and finish some of our building. We've got a lot to build. Yeah, and then we can talk to him. <laughs> that guy was pretty screwed, so, yep. I don't think I'm going to regret that decision. In fact, I'm pretty happy with my decision. So we'll cut ahead here uh, just a little bit. So a lot of cutting around this episode, but it's to kind of skip over the boring parts. Now, this is something interesting I found. A bunch of dust bandits ganged up on some of the town guards and killed them. Now, normally that would be bad news for me, but there's more town guards up there, and town guards have a lot of armor. A lot of really good armor. So, yeah, we're going to grab us some of that, and that'll be nice. We're approaching the 15-minute mark here, though, so thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to tune in next time, every Monday for this. Um, 
Wednesdays, we should be going back to the Stonehearth thing as soon as they come out with the next update. They're about to come out with it, and then there will be save games in Stonehearth, which is wonderful. We'll be able to continue that series more frequently. We don't need to worry about flipping back and forth and things like that. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing Landmark on Fridays now. I just need to get for footage and keep the audio quality nice and good. So I need to ninja some loot here. Let's see who is down for the count. Nobody really. Just a bunch of bandits. That's, that's depressing. But... Yeah, no. Nothing, nothing really good here. But, uh, yeah, Fridays will be landmark, and we'll just go... Oh, oh ninja, ninja, grab it. Oh, oh, don't, don't fight. Grab it, grab the loot, grab the loot, loot, loot. Yeah, you can, you can save your buddy, but I'm taking his loot. Yes! All right, nice. We got some plate armor. All right, that is good news for us. We can get out of here now. i get the whole town going. Guy's in a recovery coma. But that's okay. Everybody else is bleeding out. So, nice. Holy chest plate. I love it. Might be poor quality, though. That's all right. We'll get over it. It's better than what we have, right? Better than heart protectors. All right. Time to wrap up this episode. So I'll see you guys next time. Remember to check out some of the other series and videos on this channel. I will do occasional live streams if you check me out on twitch.tv slash grimestone. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.